theory. Is a theory that all of us are connected by no more than six degrees of separation. How could someone test, How could someone test this theory? NIS, our fourth, NIS, our fourth class at the Esler Learning Center, worked with, we worked with students to build a database that could document and display social networks. The class served as an introduction to databases and computer programming so that students could get a sense of what it is like to create a software application. The students used Microsoft Visual Studio, a sophisticated tool for building software, and they designed a simple database with two tables. The main table is used to store information about each user, who they are, where they live, and what their hobbies are. The students brainstormed to come up with a list of fields to include in this table. The second table is used to add a list of friends for each user. When the two tables are joined, you can see the social connections between people and their interests. In this visualization of the data, shared hobbies are shown in red and friendships in green. Along the way, the kids in the class got to work on creating interactive forms, program the action of buttons, and database access and data storage. We used Visual Basic.net as the programming language. The students were excited that they were able to create programs that ran and interacted with user input. We also spent time with the students surfing the web to look at the kinds of jobs people with database and programming experience can do and what kinds of skills are involved in these different types of positions. The students were very intrigued by the salary levels that these positions tend to offer. Some of the other concepts and skills we introduced to the students were group brainstorming, database table design, programming languages and syntax, user interface design, and interface controls. The student surveys show that they all learned something in the class and feel more familiar with technology and confident in their abilities. I never worked on a whatever it's called before. On a laptop? Yeah. Especially gratifying was that we saw no difference in the interest level between the boys and the girls in the class. Okay, okay. Could have went a little bit faster.